And welcome back. Well, think about some of the best individual seasons in South Dakota girls basketball. It might take you a while to recall one as impressive as the one Macy Miller is currently putting together. Through eight games this season, Miller's lowest output has been 26 points, and that came in the season opener. She's helped Mitchell to an 8-0 start, and people are already throwing around the term all-time great when they mention her name. Katie Lingle takes us one-on-one -on -one with the Colonel's All-State Senior. Off the court, she's soft-spoken, shy, and sweet. But on the court, she's a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, I just have lots of confidence, you know. Just come in, you know, if you're on, you're on. It will just come. Fans come to the world's only corn palace to see the state's only Macy Miller. And as she continues to put up huge numbers this season, she makes it look easy. And I don't think Macy really realizes that, uh, you know, her her abilities exceed uh, what probably came before in the state. She's, you know, hopefully by the, by the time that she's done with high school, she'll be rated up there with your Becky Hammonds and your, 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 your kids that, that are elite. Growing up in the Miller family in a basketball town like Mitchell, basketball is in her blood. I go into the gym and watch my brother, you know, I do the cones. He'd make me do them. I was always nervous. <laughs> Watching Jade. I remember always growing up watching my sister play here, but I'd always fall asleep, so. <laughs> All that time she spent in the gym early translated on the court. Miller began her career as a colonel when she was still in middle school. I remember that first time I stepped in as an eighth grade, I was really, really scared. Now it's just another game. It's awesome and I love the sport, so. Now in her fifth year on the varsity squad, Coach Wes Morgan says Miller's starting to buy in as the team's leader. Being a leader on the court and being that, that, that uh, verbal leader that uh, the other kids will listen to, and, uh, that's something that doesn't come easy for me. But uh, I think, I think she'll, she'll do a great job of that. With a strong start to this season, Miller and the Colonels are hoping to capture their second state title in three years. Um, so far, we've been playing really well. You know, our team has been stepping up. We have Taylor Valeski driving the basket, Emma Schmidt shooting from the outside, and Tori. You know, and we'll see as long and when we start playing tougher teams, we'll see how good we are. But we've been playing really well as a team. You know, it's like last year. You just never know. It's that team that gets hot at hot at the right time. Does this team have the have the talent? Yeah, they got the talent. You know, can they put it together? Uh, you know, time will tell. Mitchell might be that hot team when the season is over. Either way, number 23 isn't cooling off anytime soon. All right, that'll get Katie Lingle reporting. And Jason, now let's take a look at Macy Miller by the numbers. Some impressive statistics, to say the least. You know, we knew she'd have a big season. I don't know if we all knew she'd score 28.4 points per game. Who does that? Nobody does that. She's close to all-time records, and that's almost 10 points a game more than she did last year. Um, of course, she had a little different supporting cast, so it makes a lot of sense for her to go play with the Jackrabbits. She committed very early on in the process, didn't really consider any other colleges, and they're very excited about getting her. She said, you know, the Summit League Championships were a big reason why she picked SDSU, and her parents already have season tickets. There's going to be a lot of people in Mitchell making that trip to Brookings to watch her play at the college level. Yeah, you mentioned uh, South Dakota State and Jackrabbits head coach Aaron Johnston. Well, he can't wait to get this girl to Brookings. This is someone that's so complete right now. She can play the one or the two. Uh, in the past, she's played with really great players around her, and she's been able to still do her thing. Now this year, she's got good players around her, but she's definitely the focus of what that team does, and she just hasn't missed a beat. You know, she, she relishes in big games. She relishes in pressure shots. Uh, she just loves to be a part of, of winning and doing whatever it takes to win. Varsity Sports Now, presented by Shields.